my my. But good luck to him. Now, Bob Hunt is in Taunton for the earliest pre-season game ever in county cricket. It's between Somerset and Glamorgan, and we can join him now. Well, there's cricket in progress down here at Taunton this morning. Beautiful morning, actually, and uh, Somerset taking on Glamorgan in the first of their pre-season friendlies. And tucked away behind the museum at the county ground is the workshop of Millie Chantham Hall, one of the last remaining handmade cricket bat specialists left in the country. And their managing director is, is Rob Chambers. Rob, a busy time of year for you, I'd imagine. It's uh, an extremely busy time of year for us, Bob. And the, the presumed that the professionals come in and they want their own particular style of bat has to be perfect. It does, yeah. Some players are, are fussier than others, but yeah, from the sort of shaping of the handle to the profile on the bat, our players are certainly quite demanding. And things like weight as well, I suppose. Yeah, weight's very important. There's certainly a trend towards the heavier, big, big sort of hitting bats these days for the, the 2020 over game. You make bats obviously for the club cricket as well as a professional. What's sort of the price range? Uh, price range is from £150 up to sort of £450 for the full bespoke service. And £450, I suppose the batsman wants runs guaranteed. Yeah, they <laughs> certainly do, and hopefully that's, that's what we can do for them. And batsmen, of course, will blame the bat rather than their technique. Perhaps they come storming in here afterwards and saying, it's your fault. A bad workman always blames their tools, <laughs> they, they say. What, what's the difference between having a handcrafted cricket bat made and not taking one off the shelf? Um, we like to think that we, we can offer the player a, a huge advantage in, in being able to produce a, a certain profile and weight and type of bat to suit their style of play. And this will sort of hopefully generate more runs. How long does it take from when a, a piece of wood arrives in the workshop to a bat is, is fully made? It takes about two to three hours, depending on sort of how fit we're feeling. And the market's okay still is. I mean, obviously, there's more and more bats coming off the shelf, but there'll always be a niche in the market for the handcrafted stuff that you produce. Yeah, sales are very, very good at the moment. I think there's always uh, a sort of place for bespoke handmade English cricket bats. And you can guarantee if I buy one of your cricket bats for £450, the runs will flow off it for me, will they? Thousands of runs, definitely. There you are then. Well, guaranteed performance for me this season. Where's my wallet? Now, St. Helens have sacked 